Start recording. Hopefully this works this time. Hey, hi everybody. Welcome to another Edo Pro Quick Bits. That's what I'm calling this now, officially. It's Edo Pro Quick Bits. It does stuff. This is like my second or third time trying to record this, trying to make my video software work and trying not to give you a video that's crappy. That you feel the need to tell me about how crappy it is. Um, Because usually I know, guys. Usually I know if the video is bad. Uh, sometimes I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so, brief explanation of this one, since you guys said that you wanted some commentary on this style where I record replays a little bit. Uh, I won't go through it all, because it's a little fast and it's too confusing even for me to necessarily, like, by the time I finish explaining a play-by-play, -play, the next play will happen, so you have to kind of follow along. Maybe watch it a couple of times, who knows? Uh, but I just want to give a couple of quick explanations, so, uh, this is a replay of a match play between me and community member Vesper. Vesper is running a mill type deck, where your goal is to get your opponent to deck out. And I am running a pot slash jar themed deck, which has been tuned to also technically be focused on making your opponent deck out by milling all their cards. There's a lot of fun stuff that happens in this one. Hopefully we can follow it all. The only thing, other thing I need to explain is that uh, I think because Vesper set up the duel... Oh, also, I'm called player in this case because this was right after I updated it. We just said all my stuff, but now I don't know what it means up to the other thing. I don't think that was English, but whatever. Hopefully you got what I meant. Um, so I'm player, and also you will see me on the opposite side, on the top of the screen, where the opponent usually goes, because I believe, for purposes of Edo Pro, Vesper was player one, basically. So I'm going to go away for a little bit, I'll come back, and I'll talk about some of the stuff at the end. And let's go ahead and roll... Wow! I am really bad at this. I can't speak at all. That's not good. I got a stream later today. Uh, let's go ahead and load replay, and not road replay. Jesus Christ.
Okay, so let me just still check that my mic is back working. All right, and that's game. So hopefully, uh, hopefully by the time that ended, you understood what Jar of Avarice and Pot of Avarice did, and Gift of Greed and all those other stuff. Because uh, with all the deck recycling, we used a lot of the same cards over and over again. Uh, I won there with double Gift of Greed, so that Vesper decked out after we'd already reset through Exchange of Spirit. It's hilarious. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on there, a lot of recycling, but hopefully you saw everything. I know Needleworm is not a pot, but it works with the deck type. If they just let me have three Morphin Jars, I could do it all the time. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff in my deck. I liked it a lot. A lot of dumb little things that went on. Almost no fighting. I think almost all the battle damage was caused by either uh, reflecting on defense or by me using Blazing Mirror Force. So, yeah, uh, that's basically it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully that was uh, okay and that video worked. All right. So I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And, uh, okay, I'm going to end it now.